stuff. And this is the birth stage. We have sort of a volcano, all this grass-like stuff growing, volcanoes still steaming. Above it, this is the vaginal vessel, birth canal. We have the brain fetus resting in there, and the water's flowing through it. And both the cord goes up to the giant nurturing breast. The water then flows through the birth canal, connecting part of this, connecting the two stages together. It goes around the sex cycle here. Which is the male and the female interlocked in the center. Like muscly tissue kind of thing. Sort of insect like legs coming out, sort of trying to reinforce the mechanical aspect of the sex stage. And down here, the uh, lotus here. We've got the lotus comes in mechanically with some sort of blade like things. And then the serpents down here, which are sort of slowly moving, maybe coming out from the lotus of enlightenment. All the blades are threatening and closing in. And then the cycle continues on to the final death stage where we have this, I guess you could call it a skull, uh, sitting on this cracked earth terrain. And going in, the water going in through one eye, the lead-covered eye. And then coming out, transformed into this white, sort of decaying serpent, coming out of the third eye, which is gold-plated. And the scaffolding holding it up these little wires, trying to keep it from completely collapsing. And it comes up to this five-headed serpent. The final enlightenment, the uh, Kundalini serpent rising from the, from the third eye. But it's not really having a very good time about rising. It's kind of falling apart. And it needs all these wires to hold it up. There's no regeneration. There's no higher level. From what I can see in this world, it's all pretty much just this mechanical, constant repetitive motion that eventually slows down and breaks. And then we try to fix it up again, but it eventually slows down and breaks again, and uh, decays and falls apart. get to death and you think about spiritual release but in the end it's just decay.